Hello everyone and welcome back for another behind the scenes process video. In this video I will be taking you through the process of creating my piece, Waiting on Wind. If you watched my last behind the scenes video for Waiting Out Wind, then you are familiar with the process I implemented here. First, I spray painted in a base layer on a stretched canvas. Then, I drew in a geometric pattern with Molotow acrylic paint markers. Next, I drew in the general form of the composition with the paint markers. These elements put in with the acrylic marker symbolize the integration of synthetic elements into the natural world. My plan was to then fill in the form of the hummingbird, the branch, and the background with oil paint. Then, once that was dry, go back over the oil paint with acrylic markers to make the vibrant, geometric, quote-unquote unnatural elements fully integrated into the more natural looking oil painted elements. Especially on this piece, juggling that many aesthetic elements conflicted with both the desired message of the imagery as well as with the feasibility of executing it due to the tiny scale I was working on. I may well try out these techniques again, but next time on a much larger scale. In this piece, while I quite enjoy the pattern I selected and the marks made to define the composition of the bird on the branch, I ended up covering up almost all of that with oil paint. This is largely because this piece is the companion piece to Waiting Out Wind. The pattern and lines showing through created a busier look in Waiting Out Wind, which worked towards its theme. Here, however, in Waiting On Wind, I wanted to convey a sense of calmness that touches on hopefulness as well as anxiety. The precarious and isolated position of the hummingbird on the end of a branch in open air provided enough of that anxiety feeling and the pattern and marks showing through tipped the calmness I felt was at the core of the piece too far towards anxiety. That said, I am quite pleased with how the oil painting came out on this piece. Because of the limited space I had to paint in the hummingbird, I really had to get creative about the colors I was loading up on the brush before making each mark. I will definitely be painting more birds in the near future because of how much fun their colors and patterns are to depict. Thanks again for your support and for tuning in. Until next time, bye.